um, Hegel says that history is the theater of reason and that history is rational and I define myself as reason and so I have to explain to myself and to others which are parts of myself, reflections of myself, history, uh, reason at work in history. And I've just said in the previous video that my consciousness is the ground of all reality. So history is a, a projection backward in time of reason and um, in my uh, intellectual development, which is actually a spiritual development, I started with Spinoza. And I remember uh, it was January 2017. I was about to discover the, the Jewish question. And that was such uh, a taboo uh, for me that I, I hesitated. And the only thing which made me cross the bridge and, 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 and study the Jewish question was Spinoza, because he said that the highest purpose of, of of man is to understand and to grasp cognitively reality um, without judgment and Spinoza was a Jew and I knew that so it is Spinoza which led me to investigate the Jewish question and in September 2017 so eight months later I discovered in the writings of Rosenberg and Pierce that they spoke favorably about Spinoza. So the most, well, national socialist thinkers, uh, they had to admit that Spinoza was a great thinker. So their system contained a contradiction in the sense that the most anti-Jewish thoughts and, and, and ideas had to acknowledge that there was at least one Jewish thinker who was extremely brilliant and um, later I discovered Savitri Devi, uh, the lightning and the sun and this is the moment when I, I stopped considering the Jews as being an autonomous people but they were the, the embodiment of what Savitri Devi calls the forces of disintegration and death and for me the cosmos was a, a struggle between the forces of disintegration and death and the forces of integration and life. And um, this is the time when I discovered Hegel and I, 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 I believed him to be the, the thinker of integration and life as opposed to the, the forces of disintegration embodied by the Jews. But actually, I would let her understand that Hegel is the thinker who reintegrates and, and vivify and make alive what first has been disintegrated. And the, the whole and entire philosophy of Hegel is this process of separation, reintegration, disintegration, and, and, and bringing back in a totality. And this is the whole movement. And um, in, in August 2018, I understood that when I had this, the birth of reason, I, I didn't know it was the birth of reason, but I, I called it my God experience that I was the ground of all reality. Uh, suddenly, uh, I realized that the conflict between censorship and truth in the Western world, because... Uh, the Jews are are thought by the the right wing spheres to be 
the, the, the censorship uh, of truth, and whereas the, the right wing are the forces of truth. And when you adopt the point of view of God, uh, it's more complicated than just truth is good on the one side and, and deception is evil on the other, because I realized uh, that if reality, and I knew it to be true, was a projection of, of, of my, my consciousness, uh, the Jews were my body and the, the Germans were my mind. And I was a conflictual being, a dialectical being, and that I myself, I learned later, as a body, as a, an empirical individual, I was the, the cause of disintegration, and this is what Hegel calls the negative, is the, the part of the one substance which reflects itself into the substance, and by separating itself from the divine substance, confronts the, the, the substance, which is the, the, the separation of subject and object, and has to re-establish through intellectual work and spiritual evolution its self-identity with the substance. And this, this spiritual path is the path of the negative. And uh, the conflict between Jews and Germans, I have to justify it from an idealist perspective. It is the conflict between my body and my mind and I, I, I dreamed myself of being uh, uh, an ideal German. Uh, I, I, I fantasized about Aryan beauty, Aryan strength, Aryan virtue, Aryan honor. But at the same time, I am half Jewish and all the, the what people hate about the Jews uh, is actually what I hate about myself as a conflicting dialectical being. And I, I said after the, the, the God experience of 2018 that I was uh, a Jewish national socialist or an, an Aryan Jew. And there are many Jews that I have admired uh, Spinoza, there was Murray Rothbard, uh, Ayn Rand, uh, because I admire their, their intelligence. And um, so the, the conflicts that you, and strictly speaking, as I've just said, you is God who has not yet uh, restored unity with himself. So I'm talking to my empirical self as well as anyone watching this video. Uh, the conflicts between the Jews and the Germans are manifestations by God of conflicts within, within himself, within his own dialectical, self-negating process of becoming. And um, Hegel says that philosophy and religion are essentially the same and if history is philosophical history is also religious and the purpose of of spirit coming back into itself is to to explain and to justify which is a tremendously difficult task to to explain and to justify reason in history and that is the most difficult thing to do and uh, that's why only God is strong enough to justify his own creation. And uh, yeah.